Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Root Beer here looking at question at number 19 on our 2012 Grade 8 Gauss paper. So hopefully you've given question 19 a little bit of a try. Here it is. At the Gaussland Olympics, there are 480 student participants. Each student is participating in four different events. Each event has 20 students participating and is supervised by one adult coach. There are 16 adult coaches, and each coach supervises the same number of events. How many events does each coach supervise? Okay, so we're given a lot of numbers and a lot of single line expressions for the relationships among them. So I know I've got 480 students. Each event has 20 students. Okay. So we should be able to work out the number of events, right? Except each student participates in four different events. Okay? So we don't really have 480 students participating, 20 students per event. We've got 480 students each competing four times and then 20 students per event. So we got to figure out how to combine these numbers in the right way. Okay. Uh, so 480 students, each one is competing. By, uh, let's say. Um, five comp or five uh, event or four events. Per student. So really, we're sort of looking at. Um, 1920 events. I'm going to say each student competes for each each uh, student contributes four competitions or it takes part in four competitions. Right? Now 20 students are competing. So 20 people compete per event. And now this allows me to work out as uh, 100, 480 times 4 divided by 20. So I can work out that there should be 96 events in total rather than, say, the 24 that we might have thought just by saying 480 students divided by 20. Because it's not one student and, and they, they just have one attempt at, each of, uh, at a single event. Each student competes four times, so we got to factor that into what we're doing. So, okay, I know I've got 96 events. Great. What else did we know, and what are we searching for? We're searching for the number of times each coach competes. Maybe we should give that a name. Right? We know there are, or not competes, but uh, let's say we know there are 16 coaches. And we'll say each coach uh, supervises n times. Right? So that gives me a total of n or 16 times n supervisions. Okay. Now I know that there is one supervisor per event. So that tells me that there are 16 n events. But the number of events doesn't change. We know there are 96 events by looking at the students. We know there's 16 times n events by looking at the coaches. And if we set these equal to each other, we can see that n, the number of times each coach supervises, must be 6. And there we go. So we're looking for 6. Each coach supervises 6 times. And there we go. So that was, uh, what, question number 19? Uh, up next, we're going to take a look at question at number 20, and that'll finish off part B of our paper. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, feel free to like or subscribe or leave a comment if you had a different approach as to how to do the question. You can leave a comment down below. Uh, but I think that's it for me. Take care. Have yourself a wonderful day.